Hello. Do you want me to speak? We're not pointing you yet. Gilart stock has been in a $10 consolidation zone since the pullback that started in late March. I believe the stock is literally a coiled spring that is waiting for that one catalyst and market conditions to reverse before a big rebound to the upside. There have been some more contract wins and positive news. Stay tuned for this and more. Keep it simple. I am not a financial advisor, I am just a simple trader looking for WPG situations. Yes, explosive exponential potential growth. So please note, this is all for entertainment only. No more plugging, let's start drilling. When we look at most of the tech stocks over the last few months, they exhibit some, if not all, of the same trends, which is a significant price reversal or what most call a correction. There's not a lot we can do as long-term investors. We just have to remind ourselves why we invested in the company on day one. Paul, what's your take on this on this sell-off here? Because you know, many people believe lower rates actually benefit technology. Tech is seen as defensive, and yet here we are, red hours across the board. Granted, a lot of these stocks are are down now from all-time highs. Gila is a simple one, and my bull case has not changed. This stock, like many others that I've invested in and have discussed on this channel, exploded up over 2x since I first took up a position. I got in below $10, which was the price when. When I released my first deep drill into this stock. I managed to take some profits at $20 on the way down from its peak of a $22 intraday high in early February. There is one thing I have learned from investing in stocks and that is to do your own serious DD and only buy into the stocks you believe in for the long term at a current price that you see as fair value. Why? Because the way I see it as long-term retail investors, time is the only weapon that levels the playing field. Just asking for a little bit of help. Just get me a little bit closer and I will get you that championship team. Any stock I buy that explodes 100% in a very short period of time needs some serious review. And much like how an investment fund works such as ARK Invest, taking profits when the stock is exploding is not only smart, it is a winning strategy that you or any retail investor can and should add to any investment strategy. The current PE ratio of Gilart is 13, which by all standard historical metrics is a solid PE for a stock. I generally though look for higher PEs as I need that WPG. How does Gilart's PE compare? VSAT, one of Gilart's competitors for example, has a PE of over 1222. Crazy. You may be thinking to compare to this. Well, how about for a more realistic comparison? Let's look at another competitor, Echo Star, or better known as Hughes, who have a PE of 23. In a very simple way, the PE ratio simply tells you how many years you need to wait for the earnings of the company to add up to repay the current price of the stock. I will be honest, I would much prefer to see Gilart's PE over 30 as a minimum. Generally, the higher the PE, the more growth that is projected and reflected in the current share price. And for me, the PE of 13 clearly doesn't factor in any potential growth in terms of the current stock price, which if you think about it in reverse, kind of signals that the price of the stock is undervalued. Remember, I first got into this stock at $9. Nothing has changed except they keep signing new deals and contracts. So, do you see what I see? You smell that? What is that? What? What's that smell? A cologne? No. Opportunity. No, money. Okay. I smell money. Okay. We can't talk about Gilart without talking about their contract wins. The amount of contracts we recently seem to have won is beginning to feel unbelievable. Throw me a freaking bone here. Gilart are seemingly announcing a few contract wins every month. And if the second quarter earning results don't start reflecting some of these wins, then I think we have to start asking some tough questions. Just look at the commentary in the first quarter earnings release back in May and my previous videos which have talked about all of these previous wins. At the time of this recording, Gilart's market capitalization is a mere $547 million. Think about that and think about how much room there is for this stock to grow considering 
the space and the global business scale they have. Based on my first initial deep drill and DCF into Gilot, I only see Gilot outperforming in the next one to three years as they start executing all these recent contracts and more, reaping the revenues from its recurrent and service streams and dominating the market in the developing countries, defence and government sectors. In all those areas, I see Gilot winning big and based on the current spread of contracts they have secured, whether it's the monopoly and future recurrent revenues in Peru, or its low Earth orbit constellations, or its cellular backhaul services to mobile network operators in the US and Japan, etc, etc. The estimated second quarter earnings date is near and at the end of August, which on current market conditions would seem to be a sublime timing for a market reversal. We do not have long to wait. We are looking ahead to earnings season as well. Let's not forget that. So the sell-off in technology, it may be pretty well timed as a setup to earnings. So on July the 7th, Gilot announces this multi-million dollar contract to provide satellite communication equipment for defense forces in Asia. Now, check this out. Gilart's multi-application platform SkyEdge 2C, Capricorn VSATs and Total MNS will serve the needs of the Defence Forces to provide SATCOM solutions for mobile platforms and enable efficient communication channels during emergency and disaster response besides the critical C4I needs. This basically means one thing, and one thing only, that these Defence Forces regard Gilat as being so reliable, so high-tech and proven that they have chosen Gilat to provide solutions for their emergency and disaster response SATCOMs. The simple fact that they are seemingly winning more and more government contracts suggests that they are able to meet stringent requirements and is clearly at the very least a leader in its field. As Vinod Kool, GM of Gilat South Asia said, together with the local partners we see a large potential for our technology in additional defence projects as well as other segments such as education, banking, oil and gas and IFC. I believe Gilat are winning and they're winning big on many fronts. They are literally like a ninja company at the moment that not many large institutions have on their radar just yet. Well, you don't need that private. We're right here. Now, what is it? Now, what is it? I'm having trouble with the radar, sir. What's the important wrong? thing is that Gilad delivers on their contracts. And if they do, which I believe they will, then a lot of their service contracts, such as their 4G backhaul over satellites, in my opinion, will be renewed or extended in the near future. These will become almost like recurrent revenue streams. This is for me an extremely important business model moving forwards if we are to see Gilad grow and grow big. To summarize, I believe we are not far from a strong uptrend back to the $15 levels. All it will take is a few strong market days and a reversal in tech stock sentiment. Thanks for watching and do note, I may be stupidly bullish on Gilat long term. So please take this drill with additional precaution and always, always do your own due diligence. If you are interested in other WPG stocks that I have in my Freedom portfolio, please check out my other videos and consider Go on, consider, just consider subscribing to my channel so you get a pop-up when a new video is uploaded. I am a simple trader. I try to keep this as simple as possible and will simply see you in the next video.